Hello and welcome. One would expect a director like Anurag Kashyap to find the move or the transformation from uh, big screen cinema to direct to OTT far easier. His grammar being the kind of it is, his backdrop being what it is, one would believe and trust that he would have made a film ideal for the times and the platform on which he chose to release his latest, Choked by Sabulta Hai. Unfortunately here, na paisa, na reputation bolta hai. In fact, reputation mar khata hai. I would believe that uh, Anurag Kashyap, what films, Dave D, Gul Gulal, Gangs of Basipur, Lunchbox, Man Marzia, is he the guy who's making a film like Choked? Is a question that will remain with you for the two hours that you sit and watch his latest offering. Very simple story, but stories don't have to be complicated. Don't, stories don't have to have high troughs and lows to make a big film or to make an impressive film. In fact, the storyline is very interesting. He starts off from where probably he started off his career. Remember, he started off in Satya as a <coughs> team member or crew of uh, RGV's Satya. And there is that shawl, shawl backdrop. There is this lower middle class family. There is crime. There is poverty. There's angst. Which is a nice uh, genre and a familiar space for uh, Anurag to be working on. There's a very nice simple storyline about how a lady who runs the family played brilliantly by Sairam, Sayam Kher, I'll come to that later. And her husband, Shushant Pillai, Roshan Matthew, how they live in this small apartment where there are other homes, other lower middle class families coming to terms with themselves and what happens with the family. The story is not going to be very important. And as one filmmaker told me, it is advisable to keep the storyline to a minimum while talking about a film critically. I'll just tell you that the story deals with how a family somehow is coming to terms with newfound money, newfound money, which is not white. Very interestingly, the date line of the film is October 2016. So it's not very difficult to know what happened in this country in November 2016. And you know the story is moving towards the demonetization scenario. There is in the house of this couple, uh, the Pillais, a problem with their wash basin and which is constantly getting choked. But Anurag, who used the flat so beautifully in lunchbox, gets completely constricted, not even constricted, contrived when he's telling his story in choked. More than anybody else, I suspect that it's the script that is choked. And there is a suffering in telling the story rather than the characters in the story tell their suffering. Now this grammatical error that Anurag makes leaves a very poor taste at the end of the two hour film that you are about to see. There is also this parallel story or a justification to the frustrations of the protagonist, uh, Sarita Pillai about her music career going nowhere. She goes for a talent contest, which is a non-starter. This begins to haunt her, but this, that's no story at all. It's so incredibly lacking in spirit, content, that you would believe that it's actually a superimposed uh, linear parallel to the story that the filmmaker wants to tell you. There is also this uh, helpless, useless, wanderer, drifter character that Sushant Pillai plays, who still loves his wife, who loves his child, who's a family man, mind you, but 
He's already and nowhere to go is what the script offers him. There is, Ms. There is Reddy played by uh, Upendra Nimai as the villain in the piece. Very, very, very low, very small character that he has. Even there, he's over the top. And all the other characters in the story, in the narrative, are caricatures. Unbelievably caricatured. You have the next door neighbor lady who you know is a single. Then you have the family of a girl wanting to get married. The Jana Gana cliche. It's just one example of how cliches are plenty make up for this two artist at the OTT platform. I think Anurag has more to be embarrassed about than proud about in this film. There are just two or three positive things in the film that I'll talk about before I sign off because that's all the movie deserves. One is in the final scenes of the movie when there is this Van Heist. It's extremely well shot, full marks to Karish Kalle, the music director, amazing background score at that piece alone. Otherwise, as ever, music is a distraction to the narrative. Also in the film, what keeps the movie going? The fulcrum of the entire two-hour narrative is the performance that comes from the lead pair. As Shushant Pillay, Roshan Matthew is worth watching. He plays his role beautifully. He doesn't overstate. As the husband who suspects his wife, as one who's not able to come to terms with the sudden spin drive that his wife goes through, very well done. While there is the typical stereotype male vertical that Anurag pushes through the story, I think he's more realistic male than we see in other stereotypes that are typical in our cinema. The center to the film, and without doubt, is Sayam Kher, who pleads for attention as a good actress. After making a disastrous debut, I think she is far stronger, far more determined, and comes out a winner in a performance that gives her all the scope, and she ensures that she acts well within her means. I think the problem with Choked is it's too clogged, and as I said, paisa bolta ni hai, reputation bhi jata hai. I would suggest you give Choked the royal ignore, and if I have to mark it, I'll give it a two on 10. And that is primarily because of the lead pair. Choked, if you want, there are enough problems about people choking and I don't think we need a theatric choking keep away is my way of looking at the film. Bye-bye.